Hi everyone, this is Jenny Mary and I'm going to share some ideas that I've tried with my students as well as things I've seen in different classrooms this year for closing out a lesson and closing out the end of the day with your students. In this presentation, we will discuss possible ideas for wrapping up a lesson and some meaningful ways to close out the day or the time that you have with your students. When closing out a lesson, you may want to plan to spend four to six minutes to ensure you have time to close out the lesson and gather the evidence you need to inform your instruction for the next day. Remember that it does not have to be the same activity to end the lesson each day, but it should do the following. Revisit the learning target for the day. Allow students time to reflect on their understanding or learning of the concept. This could mean students rating themselves according to the learning target, a think pair share or round robin with their table group discussing their takeaways from the lesson. And the last way um, to close out a lesson is with an assessment. This can be formative if you're introducing or reviewing a concept or it might be summative if students have had multiple exposures with this concept. Whatever stage you are in, assessing your students on a lesson will provide you with information about how your students how, have internalized the learning from the lesson. Here are some different ideas for formative assessments. Recently, I have seen um, eighth grade students complete a quick write detailing steps for conjugating a verb. And I've seen fourth grade students write a short letter to a character, either agreeing or disagreeing with the actions that character took in the story. Exit tickets are a popular way to formatively collect data. Um, they're also a great way to um, collect fast data on your students learning. Eureka Math has exit tickets for most lessons which will help you plan for the next day. I've also seen sixth grade ELA teachers use exit tickets um, to check students' understandings of root words and new vocabulary. Ex exit tickets can be done on a sticky note or digitally and should be completed independently and in a short amount of time, maybe five minutes or so. Having students make connections can help you understand where they are in their learning and it can help students to comprehend the material. Students can make connections to the, um, with their new learning, using their new learning to something in the real world, maybe a story that they've read, a TV show, a movie, or it can also be connected to past learning, maybe even a different subject. A couple of weeks ago, I heard a third grade student sharing their connection with their table group. And one spokesperson shared a couple of connections the group had talked about with the whole class. This was a great way um, to share aloud some connections that could benefit struggling students. I also love a good one, two, three activity. Sorry, three, two, one activity. Um, these can be used before, during, or at the end of a lesson. There is uh, a ton of different three, two, one activities on Google that you can adapt to um, format the learning that you're doing with your students. The one that I've used the most with my students is uh, at the end of a lesson is for them to write down three takeaways or interesting facts they learned, two questions they still have, and one connection they made during the lesson. Again, if you, um, for whatever subject you're teaching or lesson you're doing or concept you are, um, you're using with your students, you can probably Google and find a great way to fit the standard that you're teaching. Four corners is also a great way to get your students out of their seat at the end of a lesson. I've seen this done after reading an article where the student posed, or I'm sorry, where the teacher posed a debatable question and students went to different corners of the room depending on their thoughts to the question. Here, students discussed what, um, why they chose that corner with, in the smaller group, and they defended their opinion to the rest of the class. This did take a little bit longer than three to five minutes, so it just depends on how much time you have. Lastly, quiz, quiz, 
quiz, quiz trade can help students to review new material with their peers. This is a Kagan structure and Ronnie Wink is the Kagan queen. So if you have questions on this, um, you should definitely shoot her an email. But the overall routine is that the teacher would signal um, every student to stand up, hand up and pair up. Students would, um, with their partner, they would choose partner A and partner B. Partner A is going to quiz partner B. Partner B answers. Partner A praises or coaches the, um, part, their partner, and then they switch roles. Um, this can happen for as many rounds as you have time for. And this is just a great way to review material that you just taught. All right, so closing out the day is different than closing out a lesson. Um, so closing out the day could be the, the end of the day that you have with your students if you're um, in an elementary school setting, or it could be the end of the period if you are a middle school teacher. It is important to um, try to make time to close out the day to create a caring and safe environment for your students. Closing out the day may include reflecting on the whole day, which may allow students some time to reflect on their learning planning for the next day to help ensure, can help ensure the class is ready for learning tomorrow. And lastly, reviewing expectations for how to leave the class can be beneficial for, um, for routine buildings, especially at the beginning of the school year. And these are just a couple of ideas for closing out your time um, or your day with your students in a fun, memorable way. I was recently in a preschool classroom where the teacher closed out the whole day um, by giving students a fun microphone where the, the preschoolers finished this sentence, today I. Some of the students talked about what they did on the playground with their friends. Some of them talked about what they had for snack. Some of them talked about their learning, but it was just the fun to kind of reflect on the day and share. Um, another thing that I've seen uh, middle school teachers do is the teacher stands by the door and asks the students what's one thing that stuck with them that day. Um, and that can be academic or non-academic, depending on um, your expectations with your students. But this is a great way for you to learn more about your students and their interests. You can play fun music and have a dance party on the way out. Maybe you have a fun um, greeting that you use in the morning with your students. Uh, why not use that greeting on the way out and send them off with some positive vibes? I used to tell each of my middle school students that I would miss them when they left the class period. Um, they definitely love this. If you have an extra three to five minutes at the end of the class, which I know you're probably all laughing at because you know that you don't have that extra time, but you know what I mean. Anyways, if you have some extra time there, maybe you can end the day with a community circle. Maybe, this, uh, maybe you can combine the reflecting on the day with the community circle. I also love the idea of having students praise their classmates for something that they saw in class or on the playground. I think this would be a great way to build a strong community. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you have any other ways to close your lesson or um, close out your day that I didn't mention here in the presentation. I'm definitely learning so much from visiting other classrooms and I can't wait to hear how you do that in yours. Can't wait to hear your ideas.